It's Allie with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we are reviewing the Motif Essentials Brewer. This guy comes in a glass or a thermal carafe. Today we're using the glass. Pretty simple, may look a little familiar to you. Um, all you have are simple buttons. You have the clean knee light, you have a pre-infusion light, and a regular brew. Um, I have tested both, and I think they're both good. I would prefer the pre-infused button, but we're gonna try it again today and see what we come up with. Um, so essentially, straightforward brewer, eight cup container here. Um, this lid comes off. The tank, the water tank, does not remove like their um, elements brewer, um, but it does have the brew spout that comes off. Um, for cleaning and things like that. Um, you can kind of see the diffusion here. Um, so that will be what sprinkles across your coffee. Um, does have a nice little warning to remind you not to take it off during brewing or you'd get hot water everywhere. Um, so lid that comes off, it actually has like a, almost like a button here that you squeeze to remove from the brewer itself. Um, so it's a Standard number four filter cone. Um, it's gonna be nice with this kind of spout to make sure all of those grounds are covered. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Um, hot plate, standard with any glass craft. Um, does have a lid, brew through lid that keeps on, on top, um, pour spout. Nothing to seal it. Um, that heating element at the bottom is gonna be what keeps your coffee hot. Um, so that is pretty straightforward. I've already pre-filled it with our water. Um, we are going to brew a full pot just to kind of see how long it takes and all of those things. Um, and today I've got my friend the Virtuoso here. Um, I also have Coast Roast. Uh, they are actually from Louisiana, which is where I'm from. So kind of a nice little throwback, kind of a homey vibe to it. I've already pre-ground my coffee right before this video because I didn't want to bore you with waiting around for that to happen. Um, for my Virtuoso, I always do it in this middle grind here around a 20. It smells pretty good. We're using the Sunrise Blend. It's kind of a medium, medium roast, like a breakfast blend almost, you can kind of relate it to. They also have a chicory coffee, which is fun. It's a little different, so you have to be kind of in the mood to try something unique, and it is pre-ground because they have to pre-ground that chicory to go with it, but pairs really nicely with some beignets. If you've never had them, you should definitely try them. That's a good video for Clementine, I think. Maybe we'll partner to do one. Beignets and chicory coffee. All right, so sprinkle my grounds in here. I did 70 grams because that's what the recipe I like for a full pot here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click it back into place. Okay, so we're going to take a second to brew this coffee and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, finished brewing, took about seven minutes. Um, and I forgot to mention that this one also does the little beep to let you know whenever it starts brewing and whenever it's done. So I kind of like that feature, it's something small, but you know, if I'm making breakfast in the morning or something like that, I'm like, oh, coffee time. Um, it does have a shutoff valve, so if you can't wait for that beep to finish, you can, you know, interrupt and it will cut off so you can pour yourself a cup. Um, let's see how this did here. Smells pretty good. This is really hot, sorry. It's it's good, it's strong. It's got like a nice warm mouthfeel to it, more like a rich kind of oaky flavor, I think. Chocolatey, it's good. This would be really good with breakfast. Anyway, so Brewer. Um, Motif Essentials 
pretty great little thing. Uh, really nice price point, very approachable. Um, I think it sits really well on the countertop. Um, you don't have a ton of options, but for some people that's a good thing. Uh, simple is better. Um, brews hot pot of coffee, so that's ideal. I will say that for the dispersion at the top, I wish it was a little bit wider. It's not my favorite, but I'm looking at the, the, after, the aftermath, the coffee bed here. Um, pull that out. Um, yeah, and I mean, it looks pretty evenly dispersed. There's a little bit of a, a dip in the middle, but not too bad. I could have probably gone a little bit finer on my grind, but it tastes pretty strong. That temperature probably makes up for some of that. So yeah, um, check it out on our website. If you have any questions, please place them below in those comments. Um, if you like this video, let me know. If you want to check out more fun videos, see everything that Seattle Coffee Gear is up to, hit the subscribe button at the top of the screen so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching with us. Definitely try this coffee. Coast Roast, Sunrise Blend. And try the chicory if you're a, a brave person. Cheers, have a good one.